In this video, we're going to look at a basic layout of a business budget. A budget, you've got to understand the definition, is a forecast of future events expressed in quantitative terms. That means in monetary, in other words, in dollars or cents. Although a budget do not have cents, you will round up the amount to the nearest dollar. A cash budget is part of internal control that forecasts on receipts and expected payments over a period. So if we look at here, we are doing Coma and Co. cash budget for the period ending the 30th of June 2020, which are the budget months, February, March, April, May, June. So that is the period they are referring to. I said that it's a forecast of receipts and expected payments. So we will have two divisions, our receipts and our payments. Now this is a cash budget. So this refers to all monies received and all monies paid. These are just examples. So this is a trading business. So this business will have sales, accounts receivable or debtors. In other words, it's sold to clients on account and they came to pay us back. The same, because it's a trading business, we will purchase inventories and we will also pay our debts to our creditors or accounts payable back. Now those amounts there I've explained in a previous video is what you work out in these statements. And there you can see receipt of accounts payable, estimate payments of accounts payable, GST receivable and GST payable over those months and those are the amounts recorded in your cash budget that you've calculated in those statements. I'm concentrating on the layout. So possible receipts could be sales, accounts receivable, rent. In other words, if you have part of an office or extra building and you rent it out, that could be rent received or rent revenue to you. If you look at the purple amounts, these are all receipts during February, March, April, May, June. And you can see this business for some reason might uh, forecast that they're going to sell more than in February. February could have been an open month or this could be a seasonal business leading into winter, maybe selling winter clothes. So the amounts in your forecast doesn't always represent to be the same. You will see of added all my receipts for February, I add it up and I put it in the total of receipts. And that's what I do for every month. I now get to my payments. I add up all my payments and I put it under total payments. Now payments could include wages, salaries, if you decide to buy property or land. So this business expects to buy land in March. Um, they're going to pay back loans that they have. They might be renting property as well. They got to pay tax back. They have office expenses. So a business will have many more expenses like that. So once you have calculated your total receipts and you've calculated your total payments, you now say total receipts, 155,382 minus my total payments of 140,400. And that will I give you either a shortfall or a surplus. In this case, this month, we have a surplus of 14,982, which means our receipts will be more than our payments in the month of February. Now, this balance there is the bank balance at the start of the month. Now, this business already started. This business was already in arrears. It has a credit balance. So bank is a current liability at this stage. So going from that minus 15,000 with the surplus, they predict they're going to bring down that credit balance only to minus $18. So they will owe the bank at the end of February, according to their forecast, only $18. Now, to remember, the balance at the end of the month becomes the opening balance at the next month. So there you can see my ending balance, minus 18 in February, becomes my opening balance in March. My closing balance in March will become my opening balance in April. My closing balance in April will become my opening balance of May. And that is how that will continue. So there's a basic explanation of how to set up a cash budget.